What's up? This is Trey T. And in this video, I will be discussing DC versus Marvel when it comes to live action movies. I want to start off by saying I'm a fan of both DC and Marvel comics. Growing up, I, I watching Batman animated series, X-Men animated series, Spider-Man animated series, um, Justice League, the animated series. Um, what else was it? Uh, Superman the animated series. So I'm a big fan of both. I, I gravitate more towards DC because most of the, my favorite characters are, are from DC. So that's why I, I really made this video because since I'm such a big DC fan, I'm disappointed and how DC operates with its movies versus how Marvel operates with their movies. Because right now, it, it, it's basically laughable at this, at this moment because DC is getting laps ran around them by Marvel. Marvel is, is, is really like for the last 10 years, has just been running laps around DC and it's and it's and it's so it's comical to me because DC has some of the that that's what's so crazy to me because DC has the biggest characters like they have the three biggest characters in Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman but you can't even make any movies like one would think out of those three characters alone, you could make like almost ten movies just from those. Cause Marvel, Marvel did it with with Iron Man, Hulk. I mean Iron Man, Thor, and uh, Captain America. Marvel did it, so I, I I'm confused why DC can't get it done. Like right. just just looking, look at look at how many more movies Marvel has done compared to DC. DC can't even get his play. They, they can't even keep the same characters. Okay, let's start. Okay. I'm I threw Christopher Nolan's in. It's, this is a different universe. I threw I, I was just listing the movies that DC has done since like 2005. So cause you got Christopher Nolan's trilogy, the Dark Knight trilogy, one of the greatest trilogies of all time. You have that in there. But then they tried to start it kind of with like Superman Returns. But I don't feel like that movie. Some people like that movie. To me, like I, I it, that, that just didn't win me over. Like, and can I finally get a, a Lex Luthor in a movie that's like Clancy Brown's Lex Luthor from Superman the Animated Series, where Lex Luthor is calm and super intelligent, and there's no debate whether he's he's in charge, like. I'm tired of all these screaming, energetic ass Lex Luthers. Like, I need a, a, a Clancy Brown or Smallville Lex Luthor. I forgot the actor name, but he played a Flash on Justice League. Him, I need that type of Lex Luthor in the movie. But then they tried with Ryan Reynolds with the Green Lantern. And one thing about DC, one of the two of DC's biggest problems is one they rely too much on slow motion if you look at a lot of dc films they use a lot of slow motion in them all all the films no matter if it's batman wonder woman flash it doesn't matter they use a lot of slow motion in those movies the second biggest thing dc has is cgi the CGI in so many of those DC movies is trash. If you look at Justice League and how they did like Steppenwolf and Dark Side, then you, you go look back at Green Lantern and like Marvel, you know is CGI, but it looks more realistic than the CGI. Other than maybe the Ironheart suit in the new Black Panther movie. But most of the time, Marvel CGI looks more realistic than the CGI that DC has going on. Like, it, it's just laughable. Like, look at this list. Look at how many more movies Marvel has done and have planned for the future compared to DC. 
And like out of all of those movies, like, I'm I'm gonna just be honest. To me, out of all those movies DC has right there, it's maybe like four of them that are good that I would say are good top tier movies. And that's one the first Wonder Woman, Man of Steel, Dawn of Justice, and Shazam. Aquaman was all right. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League was was better than the one that they that they released in theaters. Everything else is pretty much just average or trash. Black Adam was it was all right. The first Suicide Squad is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. The second Suicide Squad was better than the first, but it was, it really wasn't that great. So yeah, Wonder Woman, Man of Steel, Dawn of Justice, Batman vs Superman, Aquaman, Shazam. Shazam is top three to me in DC movies, and I'm glad they're making a sequel for Shazam. Um, like I say, Aquaman was good, but then if you look at Marvel on Marvel side. Pretty much all of those were successful movies. Like, I can't really see out of all those, none of those that were really just, like, bad. I didn't really like Thor Ragnarok. It was all right. I, I didn't really like it. I didn't like Thor Dark World either. The first Thor I liked, and I didn't like Love and Thunder also. I liked the first Thor. I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember the Dark World one. I don't, I don't even remember that one. I, I remember parts of Ragnarok Love and Thunder could have been way better but they they focus way more on, to me on the love than the thunder part of it but but all those other movies all the Iron Man movies top tier all the Captain America movies the Captain America movies in Marvel are probably like as far as like a sing single character Captain America definitely has the best movies in Marvel from the first one to don't even get me started on Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier standalone could be considered like one of the best Marvel movies. And then you got Civil War. Like even though Civil War to me is more of an Avengers team up type movie. But yeah, Black Panther, Spider-Man Homecoming. All those movies were good movies. But DC, you really can't say that. Then you get Endgame and Far From Home, Black Widow. I still haven't seen Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Rings or the Eternals. I'm going to try to watch those coming up soon. I saw Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, and I saw Th uh, Thor, Love and Thunder. But yeah, man. And, and then if you look at the future for DC, Ezra Miller should have never been casted as the Flash at all. That was a horrible choice for Flash. They making a Blue Beetle movie? Who the hell asked for a Blue Beetle movie? How do you have a Blue Beetle, movie, Blue Beetle movie before you have a Teen Titans movie or Martian Manhunter movie? Like, come on, man. Really? Blue Beetle? Like, I got no problem with Blue Beetle. You didn't even try to redo a Green Lantern movie before Blue Beetle? That's what you... Jaime Reyes? You going to... Come on, really? See, that's the problem with DC. They got their characters all messed up. Just like you made a Joker movie. Why the hell would you make a movie about the Joker? And then like and then when you when you put the Joker in the other movie, you didn't even utilize him in the Suicide Squad. Like DC just like Marvel knows how to put its characters in cameos and all that. DC don't even do that. Like Henry Cavill, Man of just think about that, man. Man of Steel came out in 2013. It's nine years and you've had one solo Superman movie. The only thing they use Henry C and now Henry Cavill not even gonna be Superman anymore. You can't even keep your actors. How how many movies did Robbie Downey Jr. do with with Marvel? How many did Chris Evans do? How many did uh uh is it Chris Helmsworth or Liam Helmsworth? I think it's Chris Helmsworth. How many did he do with Marvel? How many did Black Widow do even though she quit because they was they was messing with her money? But still, DC, like, whatever happened to being athletic, being Batman, they can't even keep their characters, their actors. Now they're saying the Wonder Woman movie is gone. Like, what, what are you doing? With DC, what are you doing? 
Then you got the Aquaman movie coming out. You got um, the Flash movie, Blue Beetle, and then Shazam. Shazam, out of all those, Shazam is the only one I'm looking forward to. And then you look at Marvel's future. This is where it gets funny. Look at Marvel's future, man. You got Ant-Man and the Wasp 3 coming out. You got Guardians of the Galaxy 3 coming out. You got the Marvels. You got a new Captain America, New World Order coming out in 2024. That's the thing about Marvel. They plan their movies years ahead. DC can't even figure out what they're going to do in months ahead. Then you got Deadpool 3 coming out. So then you might get a Wolverine cameo in that one. And then just think about this. All these movies Marvel have done, they haven't even got to Doctor Doom or Kang the Conqueror yet. So you got the Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, and then you go have the Avengers, the Secret Wars. Marvel is running circles around DC, and it's laughable. I didn't even mention the Marvel movies that's not associated with like actual like the MCU that Marvel has made. All the X Men movies, the the first couple of Spider Man movies, the New Mutants, Venom, Venom Two, Let There Be Carnage, Morbius, like. DC, what are you doing? The Fantastic Four, DC. Look how many more movies Marvel has accomplished by making. And they still got more in the future. They got movies all the way up to 2026. DC movies, and that's not even all that was, that's just the ones they have listed. Some of them, they haven't even came out with the names yet. I just had to go by the ones that I saw listed. And DCs only go up to like 2024. This, like, this, come on, man. As a as a huge fan of DC, I'm I'm saddened by this, man. Y'all y'all gotta do better than this, man. Where Teen Titans at? Where where are all these? Like, where is Martian Manhunter? Where are these people at? Like, can we get a Dooms? Where's Brainiac? That's what I wanna know. Where where the hell is Brainiac? At, man? Where is Brainiac? How has Henry Cavill been Superman starting in 2013 and you still haven't put Brainiac in a movie going up against Superman? When are we going to see Darkseid fight somebody? Like, we saw Thanos fighting people. When are we going to see Darkseid fighting somebody? Again, where the hell is Brainiac? Where's Sinestro again? Like, Gorilla Grodd, somebody. Where are all these famous DC characters, these villains? Where are they at? Like, I um, I just don't get it, man. I don't get why DC is lacking behind. Just look at the solo movies with the same actor. So, like, Superman Returns, I'm not counting that one. I'm only going to count Henry Cavill Superman. Henry Cavill did one solo Superman movie. No solo Batman movie for any... Oh, wait, I take that back. I forgot all about the Batman. So, yeah, I forgot to list the Batman on here. So, yeah, so Batman should have one right here, so... I, I gotta. Rep- I, I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna do it right now, but that should be one because I forgot about the Batman. Wonder Woman got her two movies. Green Lantern. He had that one movie with Ryan Reynolds in 2011. Shazam about to have another movie coming out. Aquaman about to have another one, hopefully in 2024 coming out. But then you look at Marvel. Look on Marvel side. Tom Holland alone has had three Spider-Man movies, plus he's been in Avengers movies. Iron Man had three solo Iron Man movies, plus he's been in all the other movies. Thor has had four movies. Thor has had four movies, plus the Avengers movies. Captain America has had three movies, plus the Avengers movies. Ant-Man, just think about that. Ant-Man has had his own movies three of them guardians of the galaxy coming out with their third movie hulk the incredible hulk had it is in 2008 guardians of the galaxy well not Gu- i already said guardians of the galaxy dr strange has already had two movies plus some avenger movies black widow has had her own movie dc catch up what are you doing look how many more solo movies like one character has had if you just take the top three you just take Thor, Iron Man, and Spider-Man. All three of them have had more solo movies than all the other actors in DC combined. That's ridiculous. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel, like and comment. More videos coming soon. Lee, 
tell me what you think. What, what what do you think DC's problem is with their movies in the comment section? Like and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Trey T out. Peace.